Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So today we're doing this plastic wrap cloth simulation inside of Typhlow. So I just have a few objects in my scene. You can use any 3D model that you would like. We're going to start by creating a geosphere. Give it something like 50 segments. So we need a lot of segments in order for the cloth simulation to wrap nicely around the geometry. I'll just unhide the one I used before so it looks exactly as my example. So this was my geosphere. And then we can just create a tie flow. So first we need to convert the sphere into a tie flow particle. So birth objects operator, pick the sphere, set the display to geometry, and we can just hide selection so all we see is tie flow. Next, we need to convert this geometry into cloth. So I'll just do a cloth bind operator. And under display, you can disable mark particles with no geo. So it looks much cleaner. Let's set the stretch to 0.7, shear to 0.7, bend to a lower number, so maybe 0.05. And the length bias is actually what will allow it to either grow or shrink. So if you want it to shrink, you need to set this to less than one. So I'll do what Tyson did in his project file, which is 0.85. So if I simulate this forward, you can see that the sphere is indeed turned into a cloth, but it's not interacting with any of the objects yet. So next up, we're going to add a surface force. And for the objects, I'll just say pick and hit H on your keyboard. And I'll just pick all of my objects. And I just did a force of one centimeter for that. So next we need to add a particle physics operator so that the cloth will actually collide with itself. Right now it's messed up and that's because of the collision radius, which just is too big right now. So I'll just set the absolute radius to something like 0.2 and that should smooth it out. And we can increase the collision friction um, just to get some nice wrinkles when it hits the geometry. And the last remaining thing is the collision with the object. So I'll just add a collision operator. And again, we need to do pick H and then select all of the objects. So right now, if I go forward in the simulation, it's kind of working, um, but there are a lot of issues and that's because there's not enough simulation steps for the cloth solver. So we need to click on Typhlow here, the particle bind solver, and let's set the steps to 20 instead of five. Um, so that will drastically improve what we see. And then I also want to go under main settings and set the frame step to half a frame. So this will also improve the accuracy of everything that's happening. Um, so this is almost perfect. We're almost there. The only issue right now is that the cloth is still going through the geometry. So for that, we can just select Typhlo and do Alt X to make it see through. So already it looks more like a plastic wrap. And under collision, we need to increase the radius of the collisions to give it a little bit of a gap um, between the geometry and the plastic wrap. So I'll just do radius maybe 0.5 centimeters, let it update and see what it looks like. All right, so that solved our problem beautifully, right? So you can see how the film is beautifully on top of the geometry. So in order for you to be able to render this out, you need to add a mesh operator, otherwise it won't work. So don't forget about that. And of course, now you can just make it pretty with some nice materials. So I'll just do unhide by name and unhide my lights that I've already prepared. So these are just a few basic V-Ray lights with usually one or two for the multiplier. This was my material for the plastic wrap. So you can see what I did. I have a max depth of reflection set to two, reflect on the backside. I set the glossiness to 0 0.85. Reflection is almost pure white. Fresnel is on and refraction is almost pure white also. Basically, we can apply that straight to tie flow and click on that and do Alt X again. Right, so I just applied some random materials to my objects here. I'm gonna unhide Typhlo one more time and you can just do V-Ray IPR to see what it looks like. And this is the final result. So I just rendered it out and added some curves in After Effects as always to make it pop. And that's it. So I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll be uploading more. If you go to redefinefx.com slash free, I've added some new free downloads. There's the 10 page guide to realistic effect simulations. I made a pack of 18 Typhlo project files that you can download and the Game of Thrones course, which is kind of getting old, but some of you guys may not know that I even have this. So check that out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.